you tell us about the uh, negative or detrimental footprint that's okay. happening from the telecommunications industry and the technology that we're all using today? The internet is the largest thing that humanity has built. And it's continuing to grow. It takes enormous amounts of electricity, water, minerals, elements. Uh, it generates tremendous amounts of greenhouse gas emissions, not just radio frequency radiation emissions, in order to operate. I've been talking with engineers and um, a particular um, machine and process designer who have been teaching me what goes into keeping the internet running, like what goes behind the screens. And um, if you can bear with me, I'm going to try to speak this, but it's really long and I don't have it memorized, so I might be reading part of what I'm going to say here. It's not possible to send a text message or an email, take a selfie, watch a video, participate in a video conference, buy anything online, store food in a smart, energy efficient refrigerator, um, an Internet of Things connected refrigerator or any kind of Internet of Things connected appliance, drive a zero emissions hybrid or electric car, even power a house with a solar powered system or a wind turbine energy system, do a GPS search, without extracting from the earth hundreds of elements, minerals, and compounds, including coal, coltan, copper, quartz, cobalt, lithium, neodymium, oil, petroleum, coke, and fracked natural gas. I've only named a few of the things that go into a, every single computer digital device. Behind every flip phone, smartphone, tablet, smart appliance, and e-vehicle, there are hundreds of refineries, CO2 emitting coal-fired power plants, nuclear plants, chemical plants, cement kilns, steel mills, um, metal smelters, wood chips harvested often from the rainforest, um, smelters, and factories of all kinds. To keep running, each of these energy guzzling, toxic waste emitting, greenhouse gas emitting operations depends on all of the others. And they interconnect, of course, by a network of electric substations, power lines, natural gas pipelines, cargo ships, trains, trucks, railways, highways, shipping lanes, telecommunications access networks, and data centers to form one gigantic super global factory. Um, in other words, each and every manufactured item, each and every online activity is the end product of all the industries and infrastructures in the entire world combined. So calculating a household's footprint by adding up your monthly bills, that's like estimating the mass of an elephant by weighing the tip of its tail. To date, carbon calculators do not account for the energy or toxic waste embodied in every new product. They don't include the resources used to keep the internet going or the global super factory going. Um, they don't include the power demands of infrastructure for cellular communications, internet services, or the electric grid itself. They show only a fraction of a household's total impact on our environment. Becoming aware of these inconvenient truths is a really personal experience. Questioning our assumptions and asking what can, you know, making decisions and actions about reducing our footprint requires collective action.
You mentioned that we should all be taking collective action to create a safer environment for ourselves amongst all that's going on. What specific collective action do you recommend? So the first thing to do is to become aware of what's happening. And when I received this information, it was like I got enlightened. I mean, I was just blown away. So learning that, learning the laws around telecommunications and what they say about the health effects really blew me away. And then learning that those laws also apply in relation to climate change. So we have no limitations on extracting from the earth, really. Um, the, the limitations we've had are being eroded, including around health and around climate change. Still, we can become aware, and then we can each take steps to reduce our exposure to electromagnetic radiation and to reduce our footprint. It's interesting that they often dovetail. Not all the time, but often they do.